Hi, Movie Chronicles here. Today I will explain a South Korean disaster comedy film called Sinkhole. The first scene features a character named Park Dong Wan, who is relocating to a new building with his wife, Young Yi, and son, Su Chan. They arrive at their new facility and find a car blocking their path to move their belongings. Park discovers that the car's owner is unwilling to come out to move the vehicle. Park repeatedly summons the car's owner, and after some time, a man named Jung Man So emerges and removes the car. Park chastises Man So for his poor parking, but Man So ignores him and claims he doesn't need to apologize. Man So believes Park owes him an apology for disturbing his Sunday sleep. While their belongings are being moved in, Park meets his new neighbors, Miss O, oh, an elderly woman, and a single mother who works all day and warns her son, Lee Sung Hoon, not to talk to strangers. Park and his family enjoy their new apartment and are pleased to have their own home now. The following day, Su Chan demonstrates that his marble always rolls in the same direction to his parents. Park, seeing this, doubts that the floor on the entire building is tilted. Park heads to work, but first, he visits a nearby gym, thinking of becoming a member. However, he abandons his plan after learning that Man So is the gym's trainer. While leaving, Park inquires about their building's tilt. But Man So is unaware. Park arrives at his office and browses the internet about the tilted building. Meanwhile, Park's co-workers congratulate him on buying a new house and ask for the location. When Park reveals the place, the others mention the area is an industrial complex. However, Park clarifies that they are no longer present and that the site is now eco-friendly. Park later returns home and puts the marble to the test. He also inspects the window frame to see if it is stuck. The following day, Park and his family visit a photo studio to have their family portrait taken, but he is surprised to see Manso as the shop owner. Manso clarifies that the gym belongs to his friend and that his real job is photography. Park's mood shifts as a result of this realization. Following that, Park and his family dine at a fine restaurant. Park enjoys a glass of wine on the occasion of his happiness. They call a cab to get home. He is irritated to see Manso as their cab driver again. Man So ignores the traffic light while driving them home. The next day at work, one of Park's co-workers wants to buy him a gift for his new house. Park requests cash so that he can buy whatever he wants. He then purchases a rocking chair and doesn't share it with his son or wife. The same night, heavy rainfalls caused a crack in the building's glass. Man So comes out the following day and notices the glass door is cracked. As soon as he touches it, the door completely shatters. Soon after, a neighbor arrives and accuses Man So of causing it, requesting that he replace it. Meanwhile, Park notices the cracks in the floor caused by heavy rain and requests that the municipal council takes action. The municipal council informs him they can initiate the repair only with the consent of all residents. Park then gathers all of the neighbors to discuss the problem, but they all argue over trivial matters. Later, while dining with his son, Jung Soon Tae, Man So instructs his son to smoke on the roof rather than inside the apartment to avoid neighbor complaints. On the other hand, Soon Tae leaves the dinner, denying that he smokes. Park's co-workers arrive for a small house party the next day. When they all arrive at the building, they notice Man So covering a broken door with plastic. Man So expresses his concern to his co-workers after seeing the cracks in the ground. On the other hand, Park ignores Man So and takes his co-workers inside. Following that, they all enjoy drinking, eating, and conversing. Park notices manager Jung isn't drinking because he has to drive back home, but Park calls Man So to drive them home, allowing manager Jung to drink. Hyo Jung wishes to leave because it's getting late, so he whispers to Jung. Park overhears her whisper and inquires if they are dating. Manager Jung admits that they are in love, despite Hyo denial. After hearing this, Jung Soon Hyung is enraged and heartbroken as he has a crush on Hyo Jung. As a result, Hyo Jung, who is upset, leaves, and manager Jung follows her. Man So agrees to drive Soon Hyung and Lee and Ju back to their homes, but charges an exorbitant fee. Park invites both of them to sleep over because the charges are too high. The following day, Young Yi and Su Chan return from the grocery store. When they realize they have forgotten their trolley, they attempt to contact Park, but he doesn't answer. As a result, she allows Su Chan to return to get the trolley. Meanwhile, Soon Hyun rushes out the door because he has an important meeting. He hires a cab, but he forgets his bag at Park's house. Man So, on the other hand, is knocking on every neighbor's door to inquire if they have running water, but no one answers. As a result, he believes that everyone's gone. 
but Sung Hoon is at home, but he follows his mother's rule of not talking to strangers. Man So then goes to the roof to inspect the water tank. Soon Tae, smoking on the top, hides as soon as he sees his father. When Man So notices an older man watering his plants, he realizes that the problem is limited to their apartment. Suddenly, the ground begins to shake, revealing a sinkhole beneath the building. The hole swallows the entire building and comes to a halt when it becomes narrow. Soon Hyun, who is in the cab, falls into the hole and lands on the roof of the building. As the building sinks further, Soon Hyun presses the accelerator, causing the car to fall and land on Park's floor. Park then assists him in removing himself from the car window. He and Ju, trapped under the furniture, is rescued by both of them. A few moments later, the trapped man So falls to Park's floor. Park is concerned about Su Chan, but Man So informs him that he saw Su Chan in the elevator and believes he must have gotten out. However, Man So is worried about his son. When they notice a pair of shoes missing, they assume he safely exited the building. Following that, they go to the roof in the hope of receiving a signal to call for help, but they are unsuccessful. They yell for assistance, but no one responds. Soon after, they hear a voice pleading for assistance. The group follows the voice and discovers Soon Tae trapped behind a debris-covered door. They assist him in getting out of it. Following that, Soon Tae instructs them to gather supplies and devise a method to send a signal outside. Cops and rescuers surround the sinkhole on the outside. The rescuers try to climb down, but the ground shakes, dragging them back up. As night falls, the trapped group begins to feel cold. As a result, they build a fire and consume some food. Park is depressed, as his chair is used to start the fire. The following day, rescuers send a drone into the hole, which loses control after going deep and crashes onto the roof of the building. When the trapped group sees this, they are overjoyed and begin talking to it, hoping that it will record them. Meanwhile, a section of the building collapses, and the roof starts to tilt. Except for Soon Hyun, they all manage to hang on. Ian Ju then takes the risk of grabbing a wire and hurling it at Soon Hyun. Man So and Park also assist in pulling the wire, allowing Soon Hyun to return to the roof. At the same time, the wire snaps, and Man So falls into the mud while the others hold on. Man So begins to drown in it. Soon Tae also jumps into the soil to assist his father, but they drown. Park rushes to his bedroom and smashes the window, allowing mud to enter with Man So and Soon Tae. On the other hand, the drone receives the signal and flies out of the hole. As a result, rescuers discover that there are survivors inside the sinkhole. Young Yi is relieved to see her husband alive, but is concerned about their son like Sung Hoon's mother. The rescuers learn that Su Chan was carrying a phone when entering the building. They track his location and discover that the boy is still inside. The next day, the rescuers try to persuade the residents of the other building to allow them to blow up the pillars to avoid the danger. The residents are advised to move the gravity center away from the rescuer sinkhole. Residents refuse to agree with them, but one of the older men who live on the top floor persuades them to agree after witnessing Manso's fall. Inside the sinkhole, Manso confirms that there's no one in the building, having checked all the rooms before the incident. On the other hand, Soon Hyun tries to console Ian Ju, who is missing her parents. They take a selfie and Soon Hyun is surprised to see Ian Ju getting so close to him. The rescuers use tiny parachutes to drop supplies into the sinkhole a few moments later. Park, who is about to dial his wife's number, gets a phone call, and they can hear rescuers on the other end. Young Yi cuts in and tells Park to look for Su Chan. Su Chan appears to be inside one of the cars in the parking lot. Unknown to anyone, the group then ties the rope, which is used to lower Park into the lift. Meanwhile, the rescuers have sent a crane into the hole. However, the rescuers are forced to abandon their mission when the upper half of the neighboring building collapses, obstructing access to the sinkhole. Inside, Park makes it to the parking lot, but the group inadvertently loses its grip on the rope. As the rain returns, the parking lot gradually fills with water. On the other hand, Su Chan cries for help and follows Sung Hoon when he notices Sung Hoon emerge from a massive pipe. Park's leg bleeds as a result of the debris falling on it. However, he pushes the rock and continues to search for his son. He then yells his son's name, and luckily, Su Chan hears him and responds. Park follows the voice and successfully rescues his son. After reuniting with his son, they run into Miss Oh, who informs them that Sung Hoon is no longer alive. Park notices that the water is approaching them and considers fleeing. 
but Miss Oh orders them to go without her. Miss Oh cuts some of Sung Hoon's hair and gives it to Park, asking him to provide it to Sung Hoon's mother. Park then climbs the pipe while carrying his son on his back. When the two reach the building's cliff, Park calls his friends. The group rushes to their aid after hearing Park. The group manages to pull them up, and they all head for the roof. Following this, they notice that the hole has been blocked, and that water is gradually covering the entire structure and other items that will cause them to float in the water. In the meantime, Manso discovers a large water tank and names it Yellow Submarine. Everyone enters the tank except Manso. He decides to stay behind and risk his life to close the lid from the outside. The water quickly rises, and the building pushes the water tank down. However, the tank slips and begins to rise. The tank becomes entangled once more in some wires. He and Ju notices it and request that the tank be shaken. They all jump inside the tank and manage to shake it free. The tank rises again, but a steel beam pierces the tank, allowing water to flow inside. They are all attempting to push the beam. Manso arrives with the oxygen and pushes the tank, releasing it. Soon Hyun inserts his hand into the tank's hole to stop the water from flowing inside. Manso tries to hold the tank to go up with it, but he can't swim that fast. When the group reaches the top, they notice another hole in the tank, which puts them in danger. On the other hand, Manso quickly climbs onto the tank and opens the lid. The rescuers notice them as well and dispatch the crane to their aid. Following this, Young Yi rejoins her family and Park gives Sung Hoon's hair to his mother. A few months later, Manso, Park, and Young Yi visit Soon Hyun and Ian Ju, who have moved together into a trailer. They then spend some time near the river, sharing food and drinks. At the same time, they hear an explosion, which makes them afraid. However, it is none other than the fireworks. And here, the movie comes to an end. For more unique and fascinating movies that you might not even have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.